Asante sana mkurugenzi uh, Reverend uh, Basilisa mchungaji um, Basilisa and uh, for your faithfulness kwa uaminifu wako your diligence kwa uti wako let's put our hands together Hebu for tumpigie her. makofi thank you very much Asante sana mkurugenzi and uh, i would like to thank god for the support that the women conference have enjoyed from the leadership and ngependa kushukuru ule mchango wa uliotolewa kwenye kongamano na wanawake the support from the leadership the bishops the pastors ule mchango uliotolewa na maaskofu na wachungaji thank you for standing with uh, 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 Dr. Basilisa As, Asante kwa kusimama na Daktari Basilisa or is possible when we are united Yote yanawezekana pale tunapokuwa tumeungana There is nothing that we can fail Hakuna tunachoweza kushindwa Let us pray Na tuombe Father speak to us again baba sema nasi tena in jesus name katika nane mstari wa 26 to philippians chapter 4 verse 6 na wa efeso wa filipi sura ya 4 mstari wa 6 i want us to see what is the difference go ahead nataka tuone utofauti wake Hali kadhalika we don't know what to pray lakini atujui nini tunachotakiwa kukiombea exactly now compare that scripture we are studying na kulinganisha andiko hilo na tunajifunza to philippians chapter 4 verse 6 wa filipi sura ya 4 mstari wa 6 which we read in the morning tuliosoma ile asubuhi go ahead msijisumbue kwa neno lolote bali katika kila neno kwa kusali na kuomba pamoja na kushukuru haja zenu na zijulikane na Mungu haja zenu my, your needs mahitaji yenu na yajulikane your requests maombi yenu be known to god ya, yawe wazi mbele za Mungu so it looks like a contradiction inaonekana kama vile kuna kuna kukinzana I have seen that happen. Nimeona ikitokea. There was a time right in this church. Eh kuna wakati kanisa hili I think it's right here. Ilikuwa hapa hapa. There was a lady who was interpreting for me. Tulikuwa na toglo. Glo. Where is that? Eh tulikuwa tunasalia shuleni. Okay. Pale mnazi moja baba. She was interpreting for me. Alikuwa na tafsiri kwa ajili yake. and she was big expecting alikuwa ni mjamzito na anategemea kwamba muda wote anahitaji kwenda kujifungua and uh, as i opened my mouth hivi alipofungua mdomo the spirit of god roho wa mungu closed my mouth akafunga kinywa and people are waiting for me to pray hivi watu wanasubiri yao waweze kuomba and i'm quiet na yuko kimya You are there. Anaita tafsiri alikwepo. Watu wake. They bombed in American embassy Waka, Nairobi. Wakapiga bomu ule ubarozi wa Marekani wa Marekani Nairobi. And they bombed Dar es Salaam. Na wakapiga bomu ubarozi wa, wa Marekani hapa Dar es Salaam. And she was working right there in the American embassy. Na yeye alikuwa anafanya kazi pale kwenye ubarozi wa Marekani. And she fell na kaanguka chini just as the lord had spoken kama bwana alivyosema when the bomb exploded lile bomu lilipo two years ago with an american team and she was saying this is the man i was telling you about this is the man na, i was telling you about na alikutana naye kama miaka miwili iliyopita na kundi la watu kutoka marekani akasema huyu ndio mtu niliyowaambia habari zake Then they told 
me hivyo wakamwambia yeye that there is one thing we never told you kuna kitu ambacho wewe hatukukwambia the vehicles that park outside the american embassy yale magari yaliyo park pale ubalozi wa marekani they were all shattered the glasses yote yalivunjika vunjika vyo and our car was in the middle it na, was intact it was not shattered gari lake lilikuwa katikati ya magari mengine halikuguswa hallelujah hallelujah lakini uh-huh. kama ilivyoandikwa uh-huh. mambo ambayo jicho halikuyaona uh-huh. wala sikio halikuyasikia uh-huh. wala hayakuingia katika moyo wa mwanadamu wonderful mambo ambayo Mungu aliwaandalia wampendao so let's just pause there hebu tutulie hapo I love this. Napenda hii. The things God has prepared. Vile vitu ambavyo Mungu ameviandaa. Which are coming ahead of you. Ambavyo vinakuja mbele yako wewe. Number 1. Jambo la kwanza. Your eye. Macho yako. Your natural eye. Macho yako ya kibinadamu. Has not seen it. Hayajaona bado. Number 2. Jambo la pili. Your ear. Masikio yako. Has not heard. Haya masikio ya nyama hajasikia we are imagining tunaomba yale ambayo tunayafikiria but god says lakini mungu anasema what your eye your ear your mind has not conceived is what god has prepared yale mambo ambayo masikio lako wala masikio yako hayajaona ndio mungu aliyoyaandaa kwa ajili yako now look at verse 10 ona mstari wa The problem is many of you wa kumi. many of you you end on verse 9 watu wengi mnaishia mstari wa 9 it is wrong ni ni kosa get to verse 10 nenda mstari wa 10 what does the bible say biblia inasema nini lakini mungu ametufunulia sisi kwa roho wow 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 so god mungu has revealed it to us kwetu by the holy spirit takatifu So you are not just going to say Wewe well, hautaenda kusema juu I has not seen Macho Verse 10 mstari wa 10 But lakini the Holy Spirit Takatifu has revealed it to us So in other words you are wako wafahamu ajui you have got a secret where your wife doesn't know you may even have a secret that your husband does not know unaweza ukawa na siri ambayo mume wako hata haijui that bank account somewhere ile benki uliyofungua mahali fulani that house you have built ile nyumba uliyojenga sirini i'm prophesying natoa unabii now listen sasa you may have a secret unaweza ukawa na siri that uh, your husband doesn't know ambaye mume wako hajui but even god lakini hata mungu he has got secrets anazo siri but the holy spirit lakini roho mtakatifu searches all things anazitafuta hizo siri even the deep thoughts of god hata mawazo ya mungu yaliyo there is no thought of god that the holy spirit doesn't No hakuna uwezo la Mungu ambalo Roho Mtakatifu halijui and this is the holy spirit who has been given to you <laughs> so that you may know ili kusudi uweze kujua mind of god akili ya Mungu Jesus Christ Yesu Kristo Jesus Christ Yesu Kristo kwa maneno mengi there is no secret hivi hakuna siri god has ambayo mungu anayo that i cannot access siwezi kuifikia he gave you the holy spirit so that you may know the mind of god hivi kusudi niweze kujua akili ya mungu you are dangerous wewe ni hatari sana you are extremely dangerous wewe ni hatari sana if only you had known who you are wale ungalijua tu wewe ni nani how you have how you have limited yourself since ambavyo umejiwekea mipaka mwenyewe we did not 
not receive the spirit of the world. Sisi hatukupokea roho ya dunia hii. We received the spirit of God. Tulipokea roho wa Mungu. For what reason? Kwa sababu ipi? That we may know. Ili tuweze kujua. What God has freely given us. Yale Mungu ambaye ametupatia sisi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why are you behaving like a beggar? Kwa nini wewe unakuwa una, una, kama maomba omba? Why are you behaving like a beggar? Kwa nini wewe tabia kama unaangaikaangaika? Once you know pale unapokuwa umejua God has been in Dio maana benini He moves in miracles Anatembea kwenye miujiza and signs and na miujiza The secret is Sisi alionani The Holy Spirit Ya Roho Mtakatifu He cannot do anything Awezi the Holy Spirit Ya Roho Mtakatifu As a pastor Kama mchungaji As a servant of God Kama mtumishi wa Mungu God will show you Mungu atakuonyesha wewe A church service e, ibada inavyokuwa Before it happens Kabla haijatokea He will show you a man atakuonyesha that will come atakwenda mtu atakaye ni mlemavu and he will show you praise so you know exactly how the service will be that why you must be a man lazima uwe mtu of prayer and fasting and close to the holy spirit the reason why sababu kwamba we are in the flesh we have not paid the price of being with the holy spirit ladies and gentlemen if only you can understand this, your ministry will change your life will change God will show you who is coming he will tell you before they come ladies and gentlemen there is nothing that has happened in my life major 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 attacks without God revealing to me ladies and gentlemen November 2017 December the Lord began to reveal to me what was happening what was going to happen and the Lord said you will not survive because of your prayer you will not survive because of your holiness you will survive because of my sovereign because of my hand he showed me clearly everything that was going to happen ladies and gentlemen I came to tell you there is a level that God is inviting to and I hear John at the island of Patmos at the island of Patmos and he says I heard the voice Come up higher that I may show you there is a place that you must go where God that is on gentlemen we don't know how to what we ought to pray for but the Holy Ghost comes in and he begins to pray the prayers English English Kingereza cannot explain Swahili is not enough language to pray for certain things the Bible says the spirit of God begins to grow the language of the Holy Ghost I was in Kinshasa one woman was brought to me and they said she has never had a child for many years Pray for her. And I opened my mouth. I couldn't pray. I began to grow. It was a spiritual labor. I entered in labor by the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. Ladies and gentlemen, then I announce. Then I announce. Next year, I am coming. You shall have a child. The following year I went I found the baby They gave me the baby Ladies and gentlemen I came to tell you From today Let the Holy Spirit Be your best friend That we 
may know what he has freely given us. Ili kuweza kujua vile vitu ambavyo Mungu ametupatia free. First John 5:14. Waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana Ask anything. Asemi kwamba tukiomba chochote. Tukiomba chochote according to his will. Kulingana na mapenzi. You like a guy? Unampenda mtu? A guy? Mwanaume. A young man. Kijana wa kiume. You want him to marry you? Anataka kuoa wewe. I don't care if you fast for Seven years. Siombi sijali kama hata ukifunga kwa miaka 7. If it is not the will of God, kama s- he will not be given to you. Kama sio mapenzi ya Mungu, Mungu hawezi kukupa. Hatakupa. Mungu hawezi kukupa. God will not give you. If it is not the will of God it is not the will of God Kama sio mapenzi ya Mungu sio mapenzi ya Mungu Mwanzo ya maombi ni kufahamu mapenzi ya Mungu Starting of prayers knowing the will of God Some people think when you fast then you can have anything. No. Watu wengine wanafikiri kwamba ukifunga unanisi helps us know the mind of God. Unatusaidia sisi kujua wazo la Mungu. That's the starting point. Hapo ni mahali pa kuanzia. Fasting is very important. Kufunga ni kwa muhimu sana. But fasting helps you discover the mind of God. Kufunga kuna kusaidia when he was praying at Gethsemane. Akasema baba toa kikombe hiki. He said God remove this cup. Lakini sio mapenzi yangu. Not according to my will. Mapenzi yangu but ya according to your will. Hata Kristo will be fulfilled. Hata Kristo iti mapenzi. Even baba. Christ obeyed the will of God. Mungu baba akafanyaje? Then the Lord the Father God said did what? Akusema kwamba natoa kikombe. He didn't say that I remove the cup. Akasema utakunywa. He said you will drink that Laka cup. Unaenda msalabani. Until you go to the cross. You will die there. Lakini utafufuka. That you will be. Hiyo ndio njia nimetayarisha kwako. This is the way which I have prepared so for you. So praying and fasting can even not funga na kuomba. Hakumlazimishi Mungu. Don't speak like me. Usiongee kama mimi uko na kwenda. They'll stone you. Watakupiga mawe. Oh my god. Oh Mungu wangu. So the starting point is to know the will of God. Hivyo mahali pa kuanzia ni kujua mapenzi ya Mungu. So I spend more time hivyo natumia muda mwingi in trying to hear his voice ili kuweza kusikia sauti yake when i have heard his voice ninaposikia sauti yake it can take me maybe one hour just to hear his voice inaweza kuchukua saa nzima kusikia sauti yake it's not easy for me moving from nation to nation sio rahisi kwa mimi kutembea kutoka taifa hadi kwa taifa Thursday are flying to South Africa. Siku ya Alhamisi wanaruka na ndege kuelekea Afrika Kusini. Preaching in a huge church. Anaenda kuhubiri kwenye kanisa kubwa sana la Mail. 28,000. Kama watu 28,000 hivi. Bishop Musa Sono. Kwa askofu wa Miss Musa. For me to know the word God wants me to speak in that church in that nation. It is not the same. Kwamba kwa mimi kujua ujumbe ambao natakiwa kwenda kuhubiri sio ujumbe sio rais. I must hear God speak. Lazima nimsikie Mungu akiongea. Because I have got thousands of messages. Wazani na jumbe ma elf. It's not easy. Sio rais. Sometimes God speaks to me when I'm sleeping. Kwa wakati mwingine Mungu Every when you have heard, unaomba vizuri pale unapokuwa umesikia. I believe in warfare. Mimi ninaamini vita vya kiroho. And the devil fears me. Na shetani ananiogopa mimi. I can be in warfare for 2 hours. Naweza nikaa kwenye vita vya kiroma saa mawili. Na 
Kama umeona shetani kwa watoto wako. Be specific. Uwe ma, 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 kwenye hiyo. It's not every time we have to bind. Sio kila wakati tunahitaji kufunga. Mbona ulimfunga jana? Ni nani alimfungua? You binded yesterday. Who will lose any? Si ulimfunga jana au juzi. You binded yesterday or the day before yesterday. Ulikuwa naombea ndoa yako ukamfunga. You are praying for your marriage you jana. Yesterday, who has opened the devil? Why are you quiet? Am I speaking against deliverance? Am I speaking against warfare? No! I hammer the devil more than many of you. The spirit of witchcraft. That is being sent against my ministry Or sent against my wife I pray I bind I rebuke So don't misunderstand me Jeremiah Jeremiah was told I have given you the anointing To uproot And then to plant I want you to get it proper. Lazima tungowe. We must approach. Kabisa. Ex, uh, completely. Hata kama unangowa kila siku sawa. Even if you approach every day. Lakini ukingowa kila siku but lazima upande kila siku. But if you approach every day, make sure that you plant every day. Mimi sipendi kungowa, ngowa, 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 ngowa. I don't ngowa, like ngowa. just approaching, approaching, approaching. Lakini without plant. planting. You are not planting, you are just approaching. Tell your neighbor Why are you very quiet? You are uh, scaring a preacher You are very quiet You are scaring a preacher You are scaring a preacher Uwezi kupanda bila kungowa you can't plant without uprooting. Uwezi kupanda bila kuharibu. You can't plant without destroying. Ka Akili za Mungu. Concerning your life. Juu ya maisha yako. Let me give you an example. Can I give you an example? Should I give you an example? Now I'm praying for my bishop, my bishop Beatus. I begin with a uprooting. Now look at the way I'm going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my bishop, Bishop Beatus, in the name of Jesus, every planting of the devil to resist his ministry, I uproot in the name of Jesus, every witchcraft standing against me, I declare, it shall not prosper, it shall not stand, I speak the blood, over his life all oh, devil no weapon forged against him shall prosper all those who are sending the spirit of death it shall not happen I uproot every spirit of the devil he shall not die prematurely in the name of Jesus oh yes oh yes, oh, yes. Oh, yes. you demon that is affect him lift him let the heaven now it's building sit down sit down catch him I'm 
Kajali. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to pray for Kajali. I thank you that this man is anointed by God. But today, today, I break every limitation, every power that has caged, that has caged his ministry. I break it in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, every financial limitation. I break it in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, the enemy has sent spirits to scatter whatever he touches. You scattering spirit, I rebuke you. You shall not scatter what he builds. In the name of Jesus, I have now finished. I change gear. Then the Lord opens my eyes. I see you standing before presidents, standing before kings, standing before great men. You are an apostle to the government. You are an apostle to business men and business women. Oh, yes, I see something. I see something. The Lord is taking off the old clothes. He's giving you a new robe. The robe of power. The robe of loyalty. So, but now, God gives you the right robe. You shall be respected when you come in and when you come out. Sit down. Catch him. Those were not examples. It's not examples. It's the word of the Lord. To each one of them. It's like I'm teaching you a prophetic school. I'm now demonstrating. It's like I'm in a prophetic school. And yes it is. So warfare and you don't put Jesus there. The condition will be worse. If somebody doesn't want to be born again, please leave him and her with his demons. I'm telling you, I could pay one thousand dollars. Jesus never moved everywhere casting out demons. Yes, so I could tell me a killer man could tell my people go out. They must give their lives to Jesus. Lazima one pay yes, my shayao. Wow, what is it? Ask them. When I remove these demons, because I've got the anointing to remove them. Where, what put what? But if we don't put Christ in you, many demons will come. Are you, are you ready to repent to receive Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior? I, I need yes I accept then I will pray for you so that you should come to this so uh, you come every week I teach you it's so to keep that uh, deliverance and the salvation have you understood me everybody I'm not speaking against uh, Warfare, I'm, I'm powerful in that area. Our ministry, restoration, and living water, we believe in deliverance, we believe in warfare, we believe in all these things. Are you receiving that? But we also believe that the devil is very small. Lakini pia tunaamini kwamba shetwani devil ibilisi ni kadogo hivi. We believe kwamba ukimfunga asubuhi jioni atakuwa amefungwa lakini labda we mwenyewe ukifungua dirisha au mlango aingie tena. We believe that when we cast out demon they go unless otherwise yourself you have opened a door whether you have opened a window or a door for the devil to come again. Prayer is 
Maombi yangu ni haya. For the women. Kwa wanawake. My bishops. Askofu wangu. Spend time with your women. Ka tumia muda na wanawake. Don't leave them alone. Usiwaache peke yao. Teach them. Wafundishe. Give them the word. Wape neno. You cannot have a revival and church growth without women. Uwezi ukawa na uamsho na kanisa kukua bila wanawake. It's impossible. Ni vigumu. If you don't teach them, usipowafundisha, don't rebuke them. Usiwakemee. Waache tu. But if you teach them, lakini ukisha wafundisha, they are doing wrong thing. Wanafanya mambo mabaya. Then you can rebuke them. Sasa hapo unaweza ukawakemea. Sit down sir. Kaa chini ndugu. Why am I saying this? Kwa nini nasema hili? We have so many teachings now. Tuna mafundisho mengi mno sasa. YouTube's everywhere. Yako kwenye internet. YouTube kila mahali kwenye internet. If you don't teach them, usipowafundisha wewe. They'll get it from internet. Watapata kutoka kwenye internet. They'll start buying your leaders club for the game of coffee viongozi wenu because you are teaching that's the Chama right way to go hiyo ndio njia bishop imano to mitike raised up built a very powerful shekai na why he spent a lot of time with them askof to mitike ameinua wana shekai na wazuri wenye nguvu kwa sababu anatumia muda mwingi na wana shekai na is the leader of shekai na himself yeye ndio kiongozi wa shekai na mwenyewe ah come on ah, come on And he told them your job is not just shekai na praise. Anaambia kazi yenu sio tu kusifu pale. They evangelize. Wanatanya uinjilisti. They clean the place. Wanasafisha maeneo. They do so many things. Wanafanya vitu vingi sana. Why? Kwa nini? He has spent time with them. Kwa sana tumia muda mwingi na wao. So pastors, spend time with the shekai. Tumia muda mwingi na shekai na. Spend time with praise. Tumia muda mwingi na praise. Spend time with the youths. Tumia muda mwingi na vijana. Spend time with the women. Tumia muda mwingi na wanawake. Spend time with the men. Tumia muda mwingi na wanaume. That's what we call building the church. Hiyo ndio tunaita kujenga kanisa. Usiwaache wawe peke yao tu. Don't leave them alone. They feel without a father without a shepherd wanajisikia kwamba kama hawana baba wana mchungaji alafu akikosea when they make mistake you beat them unawapiga how do you beat somebody you have never taught unampigaje ambaye hujawahi kumfunza i can rebuke my my daughter queen naweza nikamkemea binti yake queen after i have taught her baada ya kuwa nimemfundisha i said darling I told you not to do this. I told you this is the way to go. Now me as your father. I will not accept this. I will rebuke her. Because I instructed. Her. We are going very far. I'm telling we are going very far. Let me uh, what, what time is this? Five. How come time in the Dar es Salaam goes very fast? Kwani muda hapa Dar es Salaam unaenda speed sana. Kwa nini? Kitu afadhali. Kule kitu una at quit at least time delays. Imagine it's only five. Ah hebu fikiria imeshakuwa saa 10, saa 11 sasa hivi. This an anointing. Kwa sababu kuna upako. We are building tunajenga we are destroying tunaharibu we are building tunajenga we are uprooting tunangoa we are planting tunapanda I need to say it. I don't want to see anybody selling but let me keep quiet Alikuwa anakaribia kusema asiwepo mtu kwenu nyie anayeuza maji Nimemalizia Wewe umemalizia unajifanya unaopaka unauza maji wala matikiti wala dawa ya mbu katibu mkuu anaongea hapo let me conclude <laughs> hebu nitimishe ni, hapa <laughs> Ephesians 3 verse 20 my bishop wa Efeso 3:20 
Wefeso tatu shirini. Unamomba mungu wa kupandishe chiga Kazi kubwa mno Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 uh, Mubiri ile sula tatu Chapter 3 verse 11 Sula tatu mstalo wa kumina moja Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 Mubiri sula tatu mstalo wa kumina moja I'm closing Naenda kufu Aha. Kila kitu amekifanya kizuri kwa wakati wake Aha. Tena ameiweka hiyo milele ndani ya mioyo yao Aha. Ila kwa jinsi mwanadamu asivuweza kuivumbua kazi ya mungu Haifanya yo tangu mwanzo Yeah that's mwanzo. the word, that's the word Hilo ndio neno, hilo ndio neno Hilo ndio neno It's nice to know a bit of something What is that eternity? Umilele ni upi The spirit of God Roo wa mungu The spirit in you Roo ndani yako That is eternal Ambaye ni wa milele Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit in you Roo wa mungu nani yako. is eternal. Ni wa milele. If you don't repent, kama usipo tubu, you will be in hell forever. Utakuwa motoni milele. If you repent, ukitubu, you will be with Jesus utakuwa forever. Utakuwa na yesu milele. Because your spirit is eternal. Ni ya milele. Amen. Amen. When the Holy Spirit and your spirit become one, that's what we call intimacy with God. You will know the mind of God. You will have the revelations of God. I love what Paul says. I'll pray with my spirit. But I'll also pray with my mind. That's First Corinthians 14, 14. I will pray in my spirit. First Corinthians 14, 14 to 15. Jesus. Yes. That's why if you want to be powerful, feed your spirit with the word. He that prays in tongues edifies his spirit. Many of us are not building our spirit. How to build your spirit? Eat the word. Man shall not live by bread alone. But by the word of God. Number two. Pray in tongues. If you have, you have received the Holy Spirit. If you are not baptized in the Holy Spirit. If I offended you by any word I spoke, please forgive me. Kama ni mekukwaza kwa neno lote nilo lisema, basi nisame. I spoke because I love you. Ni lisema kwa sabu na kupenda. I spoke like I was speaking to 10,000 people. Ni likuwa naongea kama na ubiria watu elf kumi. That's how much I love you. Don't procrastinate. Usiailishe, ailishe mambo. Work on it. Liafanye kazi. Where we have to change, let's change. Mali ambapo naitaji kubadilika, badilika. I'm still learning. I am a student of the word. I am not yet there. And I will never be there. But I am not where I was. I am growing every day. But I will never, never reach a stage. I will never reach a stage where I will tell you that I am there. Never. I will never reach a stage where I will tell you that I am there. Hapana. Even a day before I go into the grave. Kabla hata siku moja. Msimame hapa na mimi. Begin to thank him. Anza kumshukuru Mungu hapo ulipo. Just talk to him. Anza kusema na Mungu. Remember what I taught you in the morning. Kumbuka nicho fundisha asubuhi. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Ingia kwenye malango yake kwa shukurani. Begin to thank him. Anza kumshukuru. Forget about your problems. Sao habari ya matatizo yako. Forget about your problems. Sao kuhusu matatizo. Go ahead. Endelea kumshukuru Mungu. Asante Bwana. Tukufu na heshima. 
Go ahead. And Rakatere <laughs> The devil has fought your finances, but now he is doing a new thing in the area of finance. God will give you a project to come right. One project. I see you. The Lord is inviting you. You are going to a river like Ezekiel. Ezekiel. You are anchor deep. You are knee deep. You are waist deep. Now you are beginning to swim. The Lord says, You are going to a river like Ezekiel. You are anchor deep. You are waist deep. You are waist deep. You are waist You are waist deep. 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 You are you are in the restless spirit. What fought her parents, what fought her generation, is standing on the way. But she's a very determined woman. You are a woman of determination. You are a go getter. You don't easily quit. You don't easily give up. The Lord has raised you. You are a leader. There is leadership. There is government. There is order. There is a problem in your life that is still holding you. The Lord has called you. He has sanctified you. But I see you. Like you are inside the sea. And the Lord says to you, now is a season to run. You were walking, but now run. The Holy Spirit is putting speed because there are things he wants to do. Oh yes, go back to your seats. Continue praying. Continue praying. Continue praying. Stomach. God has called this woman. She has gone through pain. A lot of pain. The Lord says, forgive. All those who have hurt you. All those who have abused you. Forgive them. Because God is raising you to be a prayer warrior. A prayer warrior. An intercessor. Receive. Receive. The Lord is saying, you are holding back. Rabba, 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 Rabba
Prophesy over your life. Sabiri juu mashako. Prophesy over your life. Sabiri juu mashako. Prophesy over your life. Sabiri juu mashako. Announce over your life. Kama mambo juu mashako. It is a new day. Sikupia. It is a new beginning. It's one so pia. Forget about the past. Some some of you those who are watching me. Around the world. Duniani kwa. I declare to you. This is a season. Hii ni majila. So declare. Ya kufanya. Declare. 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 Rebo shanda raba Kanaoshe Yes, 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 yes. Growth. And a growth is not your inheritance. Yes. 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 The name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come here, doctor. Come here, doctor. I see an apostolic mantle over you. I see an apostolic mantle. And I release an anointing over you. To so uproot structures. In the lives of people. And in cities. And in villages. In non-governmental -organi uh, non organizations. You are carrying a mantle. That will destroy structures. That God has not built. And God is giving you an anointing. A Zerubbabel anointing. Where you shall be. Do not say I am a woman. This has nothing to do with Jezebel. This is the mantle of God. I now rest upon you. Lile kaburi, wale ni chimia, leo na toka, nani ya kaburi lile na toka, kwa jina lesu, kwa jina lesu, ile roho, ilio tumwa, kuniibia, kuniibia, leo na ipia, Mwajinesu
Kwa jina la Yesu kila malango yamefunguka mashine za gizani zimekuja kwangu kwa jina la Yesu ninatangaza ile nguvu ya kutengeneza pesa iko juu yangu kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu ninatangaza connection natangaza 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 connection na watu sahi kwa jina la Yesu Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus. Zacchaeus alikuwa anataka kumwona Yesu. Jesus saw Zacchaeus. Lakini Yesu alimwona Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was climb to the top wako the best is ahead of you vitu vizuri viko mbele yako to whom much has been given yeye aliyopewa vingi much has been required the lord has given you a lot bwana amekupa vingi now it's time to give sasa ni wakati wako time to teach sasa ni wakati wako time to teach sasa ni wakati wako time to teach sasa ni wakati wako let those books come out of your belly ile vitabu vitoke kwenye tumbo lako begin to write I announce to you natangaza kwako the former things have passed vitu vya kwanza vimepita behold everything is becoming new vitu vipya vinakuja kwako that serpent that yule nyoka ambaye was after you aliyekuwa akikufuatilia wewe i announce natangaza in the coming seven days katika siku saba zinazokuja that serpent's head shall be crushed cha yule nyoka kitasagwa sagwa it is crushed kitasagwa sagwa starting from today kuanzia leo put your right hand on your stomach weka mkono wako wa kuume kwenye tumbo lako i announce natangaza anointing upako I announce natangaza rivers of the holy spirit mito ya roho mtakatifu I announce natangaza great wealth utajiri mkubwa I announce natangaza alzi house nyumba assets mali connection miunganiko influence nguso favor kibali I announce natangaza increase ongezeko I announce natangaza your boundary lines mipaka yako inaongezeka created by man iliyotengenezwa na wanadamu I break them naivunja I speak divine boundaries natangaza mipaka ya kiroho ordained by God iliyo mpaka mafuta na Mungu I announce natangaza Holy Ghost Roho Mtakatifu Holy Ghost Roho Mtakatifu in your spiritual room uro yako I announce the spirit of God roho ya Mungu ataomba from today kuanzia leo he shall pray ataomba when you are sleeping unapokuwa umelala he shall pray ataomba when you are walking unapotembea he shall pray ataomba ah, uh, you shall dream dreams utaota ndoto hapa the dreams of God ndoto za Mungu from today kuanzia leo which shall not what play around you, you. hawata kuzunguka wewe they shall not play around you awata pcheza kalikana you shall not dream dreams of demons auta ota ndoto za mapepo dream demons dreams of witches auta ota ndoto za wachawi you shall not have sex with people you do not know in dreams auta fanya tendo la ndoa kuna watu sio wajua kwenye ndoto i break every blocking you kuzuia wewe from getting married pata mungu i rebuke na bunja yoro in the name of jesus i command your husband amuru mume wako i command your wife na amuru mke wako to come in the name of jesus aje kwenye jina yesu i bless na bariki the sons and daughters watoto wa kiume na kike they shall be great watakuwa wakuu they shall pass watashinda they shall pass watafauru they shall pass very well watafauru vizuri they will go to university watakwenda vyo vikuu they will become men and women of influence watakuwa wanawake na wanaume wa mguso they shall be great scientists watakuwa na science wakubwa they shall be great entrepreneurs watakuwa wafanya biashara watafanya vitu vikubwa kuliko tulivyofanya sisi i bless our sons and daughters na bariki watoto wetu wa kike na wa 
You were prepared yesterday by Mliandaliwa na askofu Ndonde to bring your offering. Kuleta sadaka zenu. So I want you to prepare your offering well. Nataka uandae sadaka yako. Package your offering well. Iweke sadaka yako vizuri kama una basha mnione. Kuna kuna na basha church watu. You don't have the envelopes. Godwin. Godwin. Where is Godwin? Pereka basha. Can you help us? Wasaidi ni sema kila mtu andae basha nyumbani najua wengine wa kuandaa. Kwa hiyo iandae basha yako. Kama huna utaweza kupewa sasa hivi. Anda sadaka yako vizuri. Amen. We are not paying for anything. Atulipi kwa chochote. We are just sealing what God has done. Tunajiunganisha na kile Mungu alichofanya. With thanksgiving. Na sadaka ya shukrani. Tunajiunganisha na sadaka ya shukrani. Wazazi pia mjifunze kuhakikisha watoto mnawapa sadaka ya kujiunganisha kwenye vitu kama hivyo. Msiache tu anakuja wanashiriki kinyejinyeji. Waunganisheni. And, and, and give me also an envelope, darling. Na pia umpe Bishop uh, Basha. Kama mhubiri naye anatoa, unaona hiki kitu anajiunganisha. Sio kwamba unajua kuna wakati mwingine unawazaga tu sisi kazi yetu kuhubiri na kupokea sadaka sio kweli. Tunahisi Basha, umeona? Tunatoa kwa Mungu sio kwa. You are not giving to me. Watumpi yeye, tunampa Mungu. Not at all. Hapana kabisa. Kwa kila mtu shika Basha yako. Now God has spoken to us differently. Mungu amezungumza nasi tofauti tofauti. Destroys our business. Ana ari biashara zetu. We honor you Lord. Tunakuheshimu wewe Mungu. We declare tunatangaza August mwezi wa 8 a month of the prophetic mantle mwezi wa vazi la kinabii a month of unity and reconciliation mwezi wa umoja na maunganiko a month of great harvest Tomorrow we shall be in our different churches. Ibada za huko. Go and support your services. Nenda ukawezeshe hizo ibada zenu huko. Amen. Amen. Have you heard what I've said? Umesikia nilichosema? Go and be a blessing at your church. Nenda ukawe baraka kwenye hizo hayo makanisa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray for your pastor. Muombe mchungaji wako. Pray for the service tomorrow. Omba kwa jeu ibada kesho. And those who come at mlima wa Bwana. Na wale wanaokuja mlima wa Bwana. There will be a service here tomorrow. Utakuwa na ibada hapa kesho. Ninakushukuru. For what you have done. Kwa kile ulichofanya. I give you the praise. Ninakupa sifa. And I give you the glory. Nakupa utukufu. You are a great God. Wewe ni Mungu mkuu. Receive the honor. Pokea heshima. In Jesus